right, everybody, we heard food observations on Ramona Town Radio, joined by Chris and Tara from Waypoint Saloon, Up the Hill Grill, one of the best restaurants in Ramona, that I can tell you. Thank you. We just tried some outstanding burgers. It's going to be part of the Burger of the Month for the month of August. Looking forward to it. I believe we chose the, the, fajita, the burger. fajita Burger, so you're going to have to check all that out. Come see us. My name's Tara. I'm the general manager of Up the Hill Grill and Waypoint Saloon. This is Christopher Rollins. He's my executive chef. He is the food genius that makes everything happen in the kitchen for us. Thank and you. come see us, and we'll uh, serve you up a delicious fajita burger with some Baja dill sauce on top that uh, Chris margarita. created. <laughs> yeah. And if you're in the if you're in the bar, come grab a margarita or an IPA or an ice cold beer. Yes, you have sir. Twenty three on tap. Twenty three on Jeez. tap. Three on tap in the restaurant. So you. we've got a good selection. Something else. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. There's a little sugar maroon five here on Ramona Town Radio, and we have our special guest in studio. We have Tara from yay, Up the Hill yay. Grill Hi. and executive chef yes. Chris from Up the Hill Grill. Welcome <laughs> to the studio, guys. <laughs> now, if you could talk directly into the mic, that'll be fantastic. You could even move it closer to you. Yeah, you can move it. <laughs> you, you could you could tell you could tell when someone's been here before and they've talked into a mic and so on. He's like, "Ooh, what do I do?" It's kind of fun. I don't know what to do. He's telling me, "I don't know what to do with my hands. I'm not sure where to look." You know how to cook, right? That's exactly. What, I can do you that. know what? This morning when we were on our way over here, I told him, "I'm like, I could tell right when I walked in that he was nervous, and he was like, I don't do radio. I cook. I know food. That's all I know.' So. Oh, you're gonna be right. on YouTube as well. So. Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> See, that was good. That was not directly into the mic. <laughs> That's fine. You're looking good. Yes. So basically, today is now. It's purely coincidental. Today is National Hamburger that Day. That is crazy. This is good. And <laughs> perfect timing. So you have brought us two burgers for us to try. Yes. Now, from what I understand. You're going to describe these burgers, tell us about it, but ultimately, Dan the Man, Mr. Food right. Observations, gets to choose which one will be Burger of the Month for the month of August. So, Absolutely. So just to set the stage at Up the Hill Grill, you have a special each month Burger of the Month that yes. you do, and I've eaten many of them over the years, and they're all wonderful. So what we have here are uh, two candidates for August. Yes. So. Yeah, no, every month we, we try and do something different that's kind of pertinent to that season and everything. Mm -hmm. um, last month we did, or this month, we did the lemon butter compound burger that when Jesse and I was here earlier um, in the month we talked about. And yes. so these are both Chris's creations. Yes. They're very, <laughs> very different. Um, do you want to describe Yeah, I would, I would like you <laughs> oh. to. Just put the mic closer to your face as you describe the first one here. All right. Well, the first one you got in your hand right there is the fajita burger. And I, basically one day I wanted fajitas, and then I was like, how do I make that into a burger? So Right, because it's Up the Hill Grill that does burgers. That's what we do. Uh, you, you can't do you wanna, stamp well, a you know, fajita and, with your stamp there. And Chris <laughs> always tells people pizza and burgers he sees as two blank canvases. Uh, you definitely. can do yeah. anything yeah. with them. Pizza's you can my put middle anything name. on <laughs> them. Even tacos to an extent. Yeah, yeah. So oh, tacos absolutely. too. Yeah. Yeah. Tacos. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. We do all kinds of stuff We're actually tacos. getting ready to kind of revamp our Taco Tuesday menu and add a couple of new selections on there. When you call this a fajita burger, what is the protein? So, well, the protein is going to be your hamburger patty, okay. right? But yeah. then, like, I'm from Texas. That's where I'm from. So fajitas are a big thing. Yes. So basically, <laughs> I Sounds made my recipe for my fajita mix, but I cut it into smaller pieces. And then I took all that, all the juice and everything, and then I seasoned the patty with it and mixed it throughout it. It looks battered and fried. No, that's the cheese that's on the top. Cheese. Is that the cheese? Okay. Is it kind of like so, grilled cheese? Like yeah, like the, the blue cheeseburger. Do you, okay. like on the or, do you want to unwrap it? Yeah, yeah let's unwrap it. it. Or blue cheese, or like, is it anything like Mountain Man without cream cheese kind of thing? Like what, it's just oh, the shredded cheese blend that we use yeah. for, the, for our regular tacos. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want to just melt it on there, so I put it on the flat. That way it gives it some texture. Right on. Gave it a right sear. On. But yeah. it is kind of like the Mountain Man burger where the bottom of it gets seared on the grill. Very cool. On the bun, I had some taco seasoning that I made that I toasted on there with butter. Me and Chris, um, taste, we tried this burger out about two weeks ago, oh, it and we, <laughs> we tasted it, and we were both like, it's good. Thanks, It's Dan. missing something. <laughs> like, what should we do, a chipotle sauce? Yeah, and the Chris sauce was like, looks really good. So Chris is a genius. Like, oh, he yeah. just knows. I'll think, like, oh, let's put chipotle sauce on it because it's a fajita burger. And he was like, you know what? I love the Let's chipotle. do our <laughs> – yeah. 
But he was like, let's do our fish sauce that we have. So this is a dill Baja fish sauce that you we put. Take it out and stick it on I here. need to take a picture first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you might get a better it's picture. It's not going to be the most eye appealing thing right now because we had to wrap everything yeah. up to right. keep it yeah. as warm as possible. Yeah, it's not like it came so, fresh out of the kitchen. Yeah. 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 I mean, obviously, it's. it's There's logistics. You know, exactly. maybe, maybe someday we can do an episode of Food Observations that directly would be amazing. at. Up yeah. the hill, girl. Well, that yeah. would be fun. Especially if there's margaritas there. Hey, you know, I, I travel margaritas. with booze. <laughs> yes. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting one today. I would have, but I'm sa- going straight on the shift. Okay, you're saving, so you're like, saving Do you want to cut into it? So yeah, you so let's talk it. about each layer when we do that because I see some wonderful things going on here. So yes. inside the, the burger is going to be red bell peppers, yellow white onions and thin sliced jalapenos and that was seasoned with salt pepper butter white wine something else i'm not going to tell you okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. away all your secrets you know what okay. we, on a cinco de mayo we did a chicken fajita and i had one and i told chris i make fajitas all the time i love fajitas there was something about that chicken fajita that was just it had this sweetness to mm-hmm. it and it's the white wine. You look like you uh, need a napkin. Yeah, we do. <laughs> I already need a napkin, and I haven't started eating yet. There's some on the refrigerator, yeah. So I'm very excited to give this a try. Well, let's dig oh, right in. Oh, my goodness. Yes, no Just kidding. Go for it. Eric, you can have a piece, too. It's for... <laughs> Man the camera and eat a burger. Right. Okay, so the, oh, there's definitely peppers in there. Yes. yes. Okay. There's there's going to be a little heat to it, but not okay. too much. I don't do peppers as much. I'll still eat some, but I'll remove some just because that's me. Oh, okay. Oh, good luck. It's mixed throughout there. No, I know. <laughs> I know what that actually brings up a good. That's you the, had that on top. What that's on it? top. It's, it's a fish sauce. It's a dill fish sauce. Uh, we brought okay. some extra just in case it got kind of right on. smudged too much right on. in the transfer. Oh, that what was on top. Of yeah, this? that's yeah. what was on top. Okay. Sorry, so, no, I'm not so, talking. So, so what were you saying? We were talking about peppers. So this is one that you cannot say hold the peppers on nope. no okay nope. no problem i'm okay with peppers as long as it's not too much i just might okay. remove some that's yeah. all yeah all right okay i'm gonna take a small piece uh, you, you're gonna have to thing, it smells amazing Go ahead, with, i mean thanks. with the papers uh, peppers oh, i'm taking my peppers <laughs> <laughs> you can take mine too mm. i'll eat your pepper oh wow oh wow it's really really good thank you yeah <laughs> that sauce mm. yeah the fish sauce i put okay, on. okay the everything. onions are cooked amazingly thank yeah. you yeah <laughs> Well, see, Misty nice is an onion calm. person only if it's cooked. It's not I'm, I'm a foodie. I we love food. We talked about that so, last time, I yeah. think. I hate I, raw onions. I hate we raw onions. We cook them but, down, and mm-hmm. I'll put them on anything. I love and I oh, usually, wow. And I'm weird. I don't like bell peppers, really? only if they're grilled. Oh, okay. I'll eat them, but I won't eat them raw. Raw, yeah. I'm the same um, way. I don't want to eat them raw. Yep. So wow. that's why they're, I'm like, ooh, they're good. <laughs> <laughs> And you know me and my cheese. I like that crunchy yes. cheese. <laughs> I do too. I do too. So okay, here we I'm, go. I'm looking forward to thinking what, what Dan the man thinks mm-hmm. over here. He's silent. No. It is outstanding. Good. So, wow. One thing that I'm big on burgers is contrasting textures yeah. and the mouthfeel because mm-hmm. you don't want everything soft. You have to have some crispy in there and that sort of thing. Of course. And this definitely has that. Yeah, it does. That's exciting for the next burger. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Some crispy I like in the, the next crunch. It's amazing. Yeah. Really good. Wow. Really good. Uh, there was a burger place here in town that shall remain nameless a couple of weeks ago, advertised a mashed potato burger. Ew. Oh. <laughs> On, yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> you put the bun down, pick it up, it's going to spooge out. And then yeah. it's all the soft tech. That, you know, yeah. I, I don't understand. If you do mashed potato on a burger wow. or on a sandwich, it has to be. Leftover Thanksgiving sandwich and just a smear and not a whole dollop because you can't yeah, eat a sandwich exactly. that way. No, yeah. So really I would even good. probably I like it. substitute like tater tots Ooh. or hash browns for mashed potatoes if I was going to yeah. put See, I want it on tater tots. <laughs> yeah, something on the crispy side. Yeah. Now this one right here, on when you take yeah. a bite, the inside is not your traditional burger inside. It has a far different texture than the average hamburger. Yeah, I like it. Uh, but on the outside, it still has the sear and crisp of a regular seared hamburger. Wow. So it's very unique in that way. And this almost like, dare I say it, it's kind of like a meat veggie burger. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, with all the, yeah, with the peppers awesome. in there and everything, you kind of get that, that veggie exactly. feel to it. So you yeah. still get your meat. You don't have to be a vegetarian now right. to have a veggie <laughs> burger. <laughs> right? <laughs> I love that crispy cheese. We're just trying to convince ourselves we're good. being healthy while we're eating red meat. Let's be honest, Kale. <laughs> it's 
excuse me. I'm not, Doubt here. I'm not here for help. I can live here for alone flavor. on meat and potatoes. Amen. Okay? Amen. Mm. Live life to the fullest. Well, I could eat a whole one of these. Good. <laughs> Do you like the sauce on top? The yes, fish sauce? It was okay. Amazing. Good Very time. complimentary. Together, Just remarkable. Perfect. Yeah. Do you have anything else to say about it? No. But you I'm, are the food man. I'm ready to try the next one. Uh, <laughs> right. Well, I let me tell finish you, this one. Would I finish that? <laughs> I would like to, but this is kind of a radio show and requires Did talking. You try and talking and eating is not necessarily go a hand in good hand. Thing. <laughs> so you're hearing us going. <laughs> you can tell. No, I'm trying not to eat inside the mic. You can tell how beautifully seared the beef patty is. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then the fried cheese that you do on the flat top is yeah. just amazing. You don't see that often. The bun no, is I love amazing. The f- Right, mm-hmm. seasoned the bun with a uh, with a taco seasoning. I was gonna that say there's have. something yeah. on that okay. bun. Yeah, it's, wow. it's, it's a house taco <laughs> seasoning that we have that he put on the bun and then grilled it in the butter on the flat top. So now the flavor all around is perfect. Well, that's yeah. something on, on that bun. I can taste it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not wow. overly spicy. Okay, mm-hmm. it's it's just right. Just salt, a little salt content the was yeah. good well, on it. Well, it was good yes. for me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so <clears throat> was is a key word there. Wow, that last bite had a hit. Had a kick. A little bit of a kick to it. Mm, yeah. Did you mm. get the jalapeno? The bread was good. The tomato. Like <laughs> crunchy. All I, could bit, tell you, uh, all I could tell you is at this moment, I need a sip of water to cleanse my palate <laughs> because we got a new one right we there. We have another burger coming up. Always have been impressed with your buns. I mean, the, the bakery. The yes, excuse me, honey. Yeah. <laughs> hey. I'm just going to tell you. Yeah. That, uh, you you could say less than that and get put in the doghouse. Did you wash your car, by the way? <laughs> I did wash I my car. I saw the back of your window. Speaking uh, of butts, I did wash my I'm car. Say, <laughs> <laughs> Yes, your uh, buns are very when nice. I was driving car. down Main Street, and there's people out their Honking. window taking pictures taking of my car. Out. I realized it was definitely time to go take it through the car wash. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. God bless my bar customers. Uh, <laughs> I I'm now cleaning the board a little because I don't want the flavor of this burger to affect Eric, the flavor of the that? next burger. Okay. Yeah, that that's Eric. I think me and Miss are going to fight over it. <laughs> oh, is he not going to eat it? You're not going to have any? Okay. Well, we'll see. Well, okay. I'm going to see. Wh- I want to taste the next that. burger before I fight I over think, this one. I think you guys should just taste it before it I describe it. Really? Yes. Yeah. This okay. one's. This one. It's going to sound weird. And when I ex- explained it to her, she I, she was like, "No, okay. it's not so, going to work." I saw it on top, but I am. I was excited to try this. I left out a lot of details about this burger That's because okay. of the fact that when Chris, ex- he's been explaining <laughs> this burger to me for over a month, and I kept telling him, "I'm not a believer. I'm not a believer it. until you change." my mind it, my and show are, me otherwise i'm gonna put the uh, onions yep. back on here so it looks yep because dan off. has to take a picture right and i wanted to look the, with, with food there observations you there you go. photos have to happen oh, yeah. I, I know but I, now it doesn't look as good i have seen it's, yeah, it's fine it's i have good. seen people see we, him spot him in restaurants yeah are, are you are you Dan? Are, <laughs> are, are you food observations? And then the food Say comes no. out. The food comes out, and then they watch him. Oh yeah. What, what's the process Look you do him. to take your picture? I, I take great pride in my food photography. Yes, you, see you what do. I've done on yeah. Instagram and everything, and it's just remarkable. Yes. So you, you your Instagram is getting some huge traction. It's, oh yeah. I, He's got it's what over seven thousand, almost eight thousand, almost eight thousand. 8, well, 000. you're yeah. pulling in almost two. I mean, if not more than two hundred, two to three hundred likes per picture oh, that yeah. you put up. Just so. in the first yeah. day. Yeah, yeah. Sounds yeah. like someone's been doing their homework. <laughs> 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 is this hey, worth going she's in? a yeah. no, no. Yeah. Gail, Gail, Gail knows I did my homework because yes. when we were talking about Food Fright Friday, she was like, "Don't let the competition know that you know all these things." I'm like, exactly. No. Right. If I'm going to go and do something, I'm going to make sure I, well, I know that I'm doing it right. While Dan's taking his photo, and you want to cut this one up? I'll, I'll cut this okay. one. Okay. Food Fight Friday is going to air. I still need confirmation from... I have confirmation from you yes, guys. Yes, you do. I'll put the trash in this There are two other purveyors. Ready. There are two other purveyors. And, and the goal of Food Fight Friday is to bring in two to three different purveyors in Ramona. This next, this first one is going to be all about burgers. And we're going to decide who has the best burger in okay, can Ramona. Can you say who the, the other competitors are? Or uh, are not waiting? until I have it confirmed. Oh, confirmed. Okay. Because I've said them before, but I have one that I think, I I think I'm saying questioning. Oh, yeah. But we're not sure. We know for sure one. Yes. We're in. And we're if, in. if Marinade on Main is a part of it, it would be the best because their that head chef good one. used to be the head chef of Up Ooh, the Hill Crew. Okay. So it'd be kind of like ex-head chef against head chef yep. kind That's of. That's fun. 
That's feel fun. to it. <laughs> Chris, no isn't, Chris isn't sweating it. <laughs> <laughs> He's confident that we're going to come out on top with our burger. Are we fight but everyone that? is so calm about it. I don't want people to be calm. I want clips. I want sound clips of people saying, you're going down. Okay, can I, can I tell you really quick before you guys bite into this burger a quick funny story yes, about yes. Food Fight Friday? Yes. <laughs> we have discussed and we have kind of ran over the idea of Chris and Jesse, who you guys met last time. <laughs> right. Yeah dressing up in all black and total Rocky style outside of Cheers like they're training for Food Fight Friday <laughs> just like we'll have music yes. in the background I have the tiger playing but they're going to have belts on where they have spatulas hanging off of them. <laughs> <laughs> see let us That's know awesome. we will do video of that I'm we really will know that. <laughs> let's do a little interview before because I want to add clips of interviews before yeah. so I got to get on this but okay. I'll squeeze you with my tongue yes <laughs> help you yep okay. i'm so excited okay so let's there get into go. this the first thing i notice is okay. a frazzled jalapeno yes which yes. we were gonna fight over <laughs> oh i touched it i'm sorry i didn't wash oh, my hands why don't you just lick it you'll definitely <laughs> seal the deal there so what is in this them. I've what had is this? You gotta just, tie it first it's just eat it just eat it just oh it. honey just oh it honey uh, oh it's fine. boy Bacon. Bacon. So, <laughs> okay, I'm stealing a face. I know it, it's mm. it's better if you ju- just dive into it. Just don't even ask No, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of scared explain. because I'm a very picky eater. I know you are. So yeah. is she. I am too. I'm a very picky eater. There's some too. foods that I don't eat. Is there capers in here? Just tell me no. there's no, ca- okay. oh, no. no capers. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. No capers. So there's though. stuff actually cooked into the burger. Yes. Yeah, think of like a Juicy Lucy. Well, okay. okay, but without, but not but cheese. But there's no cheese. Yeah, no. and it's more of like a crepe burger. It's more yeah. of like a breakfast type feel more to it. More of a it. compound patty. Yeah, that you're mixing it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's good though. It, okay. Is that olives? I wish it was fresh. No. It's an interesting no smell. What no. is that? What you got to take a bite. I can't. Just do it. Oh my gosh. Have a little faith. I'm having it's an apt. I'm an apt to <laughs> chalk right here. <laughs> a food <laughs> item. I don't know what it is. Okay. So what's inside the burger? It's apples and blueberries, and then on top is a Whoa, strawberry so bourbon weird. reduction. Okay, with Those bacon. Are grapes. That's not a. That's a grape, not an olive. No, no it's, it's a blueberry. blueberry. No, it's a blueberry. Oh, blueberry. It's a blueberry. It's a blueberry. 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 Halloween. It's, Boo. It's good. With chopped apples. Yeah. Okay. And then a strawberry bourbon reduction. So on the top other ones a with veggie the frazzled burger. Frazzled onions and, this and one. jalapenos. So the first one's a veggie burger, this and this one's a fruit burger. Okay. Uh, okay. Here what I, go. I didn't get, which I want to take, is a piece of jalapeno off of one mm-hmm. of these. Sandwiches. Oh my god! Because I just it's like nothing I've ever tasted. Oops, I didn't mean to take both, mm. but there you go. Add Mine doesn't piece. have. Um. Oh my gosh! It's good. Mine it's doesn't different. have onions on it, so I'm it's stealing very it from this Very one. unique. I at first I thought you know the fruit and everything that and the, so, saw the sliced strawberry, but with the beef patty, I mean it, 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 it's. That's why I said you got to just try it first. (laughs) Yeah, you don't want to know what's inside. (laughs) Oh well, I do know my favorite one so far. The fajita burger. What was that? You going for the fajita burger? Well, I'm not telling you yet. Oh, you're not telling me yet. I'll let you guys sweat it out. Okay. You know what? (laughs) I I really thought I was not going to enjoy this burger at all. He made it it for me yesterday, and very juicy. I loved it. Mm -hmm. I this is the right burger for somebody who. Kind of has a sweet tooth. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wait, what the? Yes. My what? lips are on fire. <laughs> Did you get a jalapeno? <laughs> you ate a whole jalapeno. Piece of jalapeno. Oh, I would have ate that. I should have had that piece. No, no, no. I the, know. The bite, I, I should have got The bite was not hot, but when I licked my lips, my tongue all of a sudden blasted on fire. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's definitely better when it's like right out because the sauce is still like right. more apparent. It hasn't like fully soaked in there. No, it's still okay. very good because all the flavors have married. Okay, you know. I, I'm going to be honest. I like heat. Mm-hmm. I think I would I would want a little bit more jalapeno. More like. jalapeno. Yeah, yeah. Little Mine bit, for myself. Little no, less no, or no. Jalapeno. <laughs> I, like, I like a little bit more. This is a bit more spicy. I like the heat. Actually, the heat and the sweetness kind of fits. Yeah, it does in a very unique way. The fruit really comes through, and it's very mm-hmm. forward. But I think you're right with the more jalapeno, Just a little bit. the spice, the ratios. With the sweet. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. You think so too? I agree. Okay. Yeah. So maybe a straight frazzled jalapeno, more ha- just all jalapeno, yeah. and leave off that frazzled onion, or oh, no, the just, onion's no, great. The onions, I, all okay. this stuff. I just think that I like just a little bit more spice. Yeah. But so when they come me, in, not like double up on the jalapeno. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
But That's somebody answer. that doesn't like a lot of spice, and this is perfect. But if what someone like me that likes a little bit more spice. You know, they've got bottles of sriracha there. You just... That's <laughs> true, <laughs> Right. It drives me nuts. Very, very yeah. good. I, I watch, I'll watch a customer, and they have this beautiful freaking piece of food in front of them and they just douse it in a bunch of sauce. I'm like, why? You right. haven't even <laughs> try it yet. <laughs> when yeah. I was a kid, I put A1 steak sauce on my steaks. Now that I'm an adult, I eat a steak the way it comes because I trust the chef. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I mean, that's a difference. It's an age thing right there. You know what? A lot of um, your big restaurants down in San Diego right now, especially the trending ones, won't even put salt and pepper on the table anymore because they mm-hmm. have such confidence that their food is coming out right. properly seasoned right. that they don't put ketchup, salt, pepper in A1, any of that stuff on the table for you anymore. Y- you all know the story of Henry Ford. Every time he had an interview with someone to hire for his company, you know he made cars. He yeah. you know, might have made a multi-million dollar car company, right? He would always take interviewees out to lunch or dinner, uh-huh. and he would not hire them if they salted or, or seasoned their food before tasting it. Really? Yeah. Huh. That's interesting. So, oh, yeah. funny. And so I've kind of – I'll take a bite of anything before I add something, add something and see if it, it needs yeah. to be added. Because I've learned from that, just from that lesson, I was, I was told that when I was you know, knee-high to a grasshopper, I figured that if I don't trust the chef, right. you Why know, am I this there? is, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, no, that so, makes sense. Unless you're so pregnant. Good, Pregnancy though. is a total different story. You can put ketchup <laughs> on anything you want and get away with it. Pregnant women eat the weirdest stuff. Yes, they do. <laughs> they do. We were talking about that before you got here. Yes, we were. <laughs> Yesterday and today. It's an overdone topic. <laughs> okay, I know so, my favorite. Do we have names for these burgers yet? No, we were going to kind of let you guys actually throw out. Ooh. We were we were talking about it yesterday. We were like, are we going to call it the crepe burger, the fajita burger? And then Chris was the like, the Dan no. burger. Well, Chris goes, let's <laughs> let them try it and see if they have a name I, that they I like. I like the fajita burger name. That okay. Yeah. Yes. Because everybody loves fajitas. Right. I want to. I want to say which one my favorite is. Let's go right in. I think it's obvious. Yeah, I think it's because I'm upset that you I, finished the, the fourth uh, quarter of the other one. They are both outstanding. Um, they are. My that vote, I can tell you. My vote is fajita burger. Fajita burger, hands down. Fajita, fajita burger. Fajita. All right, All right. it's We've unanimous. Got our of the month. <laughs> you should I, still keep the other one on there, though. I think it's really good. I think for someone that there's likes a market for yeah. it. I'm yeah. just concerned that. It wouldn't necessarily be as broad as a fajita yeah. burger. Yeah, right. Well, and we talked about that. Chris, Chris loves this burger. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> very, very <laughs> delicious. He loves it's this burger. Favorite. But um, I would not rule it. I ate both. So obviously, month. it was well, good. So. Even when we were talking about if it got picked, we were discussing the fact that in the description, mm-hmm. we need to lessen the mention of blueberries yeah. in it and apples in it because it's going to immediately turn some people off because it's for me yeah I, oh i wouldn't order it on a menu if it said no that. and i probably wouldn't either well but, i had to get over just the strawberry thing i yeah. had no idea you mentioned there was some secret <laughs> things i kind of was excited about, about the so strawberry just eat it first yeah. <laughs> we did a strawberry so slider I figured, it, I figured it'd probably have the sweet and then the hot i think yeah. you probably were putting something spicy on it too so i was kind of excited yeah. what about for a dessert menu Taking some sponge cake or mm-hmm. some pound cake and making a the strawberry burger, burger a, a, a burger dessert, a dessert burger form, but like a strawberry shortcake kind of component yeah. to it. Something like this, but with pound cake as the... As, as the, the buns, protein, as the buns, yes, would be interesting. That would be interesting. Just, just the yeah. thought. I'm, I'm thinking I'd rather have pound cake it with this than yeah. a lemon. Yeah. 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 I like, yeah, lemon. I, like, I like lemon too, but uh, nobody's hearing you unless you talk. It, it, I agree with the Sliced lemon. Sliced pound cake grilled on the flat top with some butter. Oh yeah, there you go. Get a I crispy. think you can. I think you can reconstruct this into mm-hmm. a dessert. Yeah, as well. In, in my opinion, that's sure. just yeah. what I'm thinking no, when I'm tasting yeah. it. Yeah, and you well, could keep the apples. You could keep the blueberries, and just kind of morph it. Yeah. No. Maybe you could consider having both as burgers of the month for August and seeing which one sells better. Which one sells better? Um, I know I definitely want to come back and pay the for fajita the fajita the burger. Fajita yes. Fresh <laughs> out of the kitchen, get with a great the, photo. Yeah. With that sauce. The with fish yes. sauce. Yes. Fish oh, yeah. sauce. Yes. Yeah. With the apples in it, it reminds me kind of a fall. 
Okay. Yeah. And it's got cinnamon in it also. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe you might consider yeah, you might consider part. this for like a fall time yeah. when it October. Hits. Yeah, yeah when it hit October and make that something. Yeah. Pumpkin yeah. spice yeah. month. Yeah, because yeah. I could taste when I taste it me and my meal fall. Pumpkin <laughs> everything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, not pumpkin. No. But yeah, keep the apples. <laughs> the apples were good. I, I like love, the yeah. spice and stuff, but I think that might be something good for yeah. a fall. Yeah. Time. Sweet. But personally, texture wise, I definitely preferred the first burger. The first I one? think the texture within the burger the of fried the cheese. peppers oh, and, fried cheese. and the <laughs> fried <laughs> cheese. As a must. I, I could just even get a plate of fried cheese. I could even picture similar toppings on that with the shoestring onions yeah. and the the jalapenos, the fried jalapenos. Mm-hmm. I could even picture that as an addition, oh, like yeah. a dollar the more fajita. onto yeah. the fajita burger. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I could add that to people. It, yeah. Definitely, I'll add yeah. frazzles <laughs> to everything. <laughs> so, yeah, we're discussing um, doing a, a new chicken taco for Taco Tuesday with the frazzled onions and jalapenos. Me, on yes, <laughs> I'll take it. Yes, yes, yes. Everything you put frazzled onions and jalapenos with my fried on just cheese goes in to it. the next level. <laughs> <laughs> is it that kind of yeah. like saying anything you deep fry is automatically better? Like deep fried butter, deep fried Twinkie? No, that's not true, frazzled, man. Uh, that's, not, that's not true. Well, it's but not here true. it is true with the frazzled. With the frazzled. Well, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It would be good on just about anything but ice cream. I don't know about deep frying butter, though. That's just. No, that's that's I've never had it. That's too much. No. We deep, fried, we deep fry brownies at our and restaurant, yeah. and yeah, but we do a deep fried grilled cheese yeah. that is. Ooh. And deep, is that any? <laughs> do you batter it? Is that anything yeah. like Monte Cristo but grilled cheese? It's it's a tempura grilled batter. cheese, yeah, with tomatoes really? and bacon. I'm in. We dip it in tempura batter and deep fry it, oh and then serve is that it with onion on, rings and How have you guys not is that had that? Always it's been on, on the menu since the beginning. Yeah. We yeah. have our favorites. Oh. 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 I've never. I get. If I walk in, I automatically get a margarita yes. and island fries or a margarita and the mountain man. Okay, well, Period. next time, get your margarita and a deep fried grilled cheese. I love okay, tomatoes on no, a grilled cheese. I yeah. thought I was the only weird one that you No, see. I do that's that all the, the time. That's the only way. I love it. <laughs> we were <laughs> in last week. <laughs> tomatoes are vile. I tried the <laughs> tomatoes are good. The yes, crisp Cubano, uh, which is on your July special. Yeah, that was you. really good. Now, you still have but to try the duck wings. When is that going to... Yeah, well, you haven't had the duck wings Well, no, yet? I was vacillating on the menu, duck wings <laughs> or Cuban sandwich, and I got the Cuban sandwich. So are the duck wings going away at the end of the month? We're, we're going to carry over both uh, have for they been a little selling bit. Good? Yeah. Oh, they've oh, been selling good. crazy. Okay, so it's not too late. Okay, good. Okay. Good. It's, I mean, uh, I'll come back before the 31st. I want to yeah. go because of the sandwich. I want to go try the Cuban. The Cuban is yeah. the You Cubano. saw my picture the other day? Yes. 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 Because your folks. <laughs> the traditional Cuban is made with ham and roast pork. And yes. this uses turkey, roast beef, and salami. Yes. yes. Which, which, which I thought a, was yummy. But it's done Cuban style with the hot panini press, the pickles, the jalapenos, etc. Yeah. yeah. No, both. You guys like jalapenos over there. We love jalapenos. Sorry, go on. I like no, I was just going to say both the Cubano <laughs> and the duck wings have been selling so well mm-hmm. that the duck wings are... Probably, we're about 90% sure, yeah. going to become an, an everyday permanent Yeah, it'll be item. a part oh, of the menu. Okay. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Is there and a duck farm uh, nearby for that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a tangerine let's go, sauce? Let's go It's hunting. a fresh. We were going to Is do... It spicy? So what we no. were going to do originally was we were going to use the Tangerine Express by Stone, mm-hmm. their IPA beer that we have on draft. Oh, yum. Um, and we ran a couple of trials, and what we ended up perfecting was just a fresh squeezed orange and honey uh, sticky sauce that mm. goes on them. Just reduce it down and then baste it. Yeah. There's yeah. a couple other things, but I can't yeah. give away all the secrets. Of right. <laughs> you got to hold but on to something. We might I open up our own Especially with Food Fight Friday coming hey. up. So I, yeah. I'm glad you mentioned the beer, Tara, because I've always been impressed going into Waypoint Saloon. I, you must have the largest selection of draft beers on tap anywhere oh, yeah. in town. Oh, hands down. We have 23 on tap. 23. Yeah. We, are, we actually are getting ready to do... A mystery beer. Oh, that's going to be fun. Which is interesting (laughs) because (laughs) when Danielle and I took over management, we went in to do inventory and we found this keg and it was unmarked. We have no idea where it came from. (laughs) Yes. No clue. We can't find it on any invoice. (laughs) We need to turn this into an event. Oh, yeah. No. We can't be there. Mustache Mike, who's my rep from Mm -hmm. Stone, Saw it in back one day, and he was like, "What is this?" I'm like, "I don't know. We have no idea." There's it's not just like a code stamped <laughs> on nope, it that you can nothing. Nothing, and it's a MicroStar barrel, and MicroStar distributes to all just uh, all breweries. Mm-hmm. So he had this little technique that he had with a hand tap where he could do a quick pour and yeah, not oxidize that. the yeah. beer. Oh, cool. It actually included a penny to mm-hmm. stop the airflow to go through to oxidize the beer. So we hand tapped it and drank a pint. 
it is the cleanest tasting IPA. <laughs> I have. I love IPAs. You'll love uh, it. Yes. You, will you know love I it. love that. Oh, it my is, well, we don't IPA know what it person, is. But we have no clue. <laughs> and Mustache Mike is like the big wig for Stone uh-huh. down here in San Diego. And he, I mean, he's had every single beer out there, and we tasted it, and he can't figure it out we either. can't figure it out. And no idea how old it is. It's No, we know how had. old it is. We know that it's good for, because barrels usually last about 110 days, mm-hmm. and we're at about a month and a half that we've okay. had it in there. So we're still good on time frame and everything. So when do you plan to hook that up? Uh, we put Probably. Chronic on special last night to okay. glow through that line. We'll clean the line out, and we're going to put this on as a mystery. Ooh, so so you'll, okay. you'll let Dan know when I will that. let you Make know sure you let your favorite customers I know. I will. I'll let, let you guys know. Let me soon. know. Okay. I want to come in. Yes. My, my husband, husband will, yeah. yeah. Hubby's going to drink. Yeah. He loves IPs. Looks like I'm I don't, driving. But he, <laughs> I wish we could do like. <laughs> it looks uh, like I'm driving. People. You know, free <laughs> meal to whoever cool can figure it out, but we have we no clue. Know what it is. <laughs> we have no clue if, if the person's right or not. We have, no. yeah. I mean, if Mustache Mike can't figure out what it is, like, I, who knows? It's, it's going to be hard for anybody else. You might be able to. You might be able to. Well, I. I don't have a discerning beer. But I just know what I like, but I yeah. can't, you know. <laughs> I love IPAs. Sometimes they can get a little too bitter for me. Mm-hmm. This is just so smooth and so clean. It's actually frustrating that I can't figure out what it is because I want to go buy a 22 of it and take it home tonight and <laughs> yeah. drink it. But right. I don't know what, what they gave me. So. <laughs> that is brilliant. So is That's there any funny. big things coming up in store for Up the Hill Grill Waypoint Saloon that you'd like to talk about? So obviously our next upcoming event that we're really excited about is Food Fight Friday. We've got our burger figured Yay. out. Okay. We tasted mm. it yesterday. We did a trial run on it. Um, and then after that, we're... In Taste of Ramona. We're going to be doing Taste of Ramona. Oh. Right on. Fingers okay. crossed. I believe I have one of the reps from Stone um, lined up to where we're going to pair with them. Nice. So That's instead awesome. of a couple of the other restaurants in Ramona are pairing with local wineries, we're going to try and pair with Stone. So we'll have them Very up cool. and they'll do a beer tasting yep. with Very nice. our Super food awesome. tasting, which will be neat. Yeah. Yes. God bless our tremendous. reps. That's why I, yes. I'm nice. <laughs> this is why I'm nice to my beer reps. <laughs> I do these. They bring me coasters and do tastings. <laughs> I really oh, do hope. Yeah, last year I was out of town for for Taste, Taste of Ramona. Ramona. I had to do it by myself. And I want to do it. And this. I never he was, it. He was by fun. himself, but the yeah. problem is in this relationship, I'm the talker. Yeah. And so <laughs> when people come up, oh, are you Dan? He w- he was hoping I would have been there <laughs> to, <laughs> to be his mouthpiece. <laughs> exactly. And so he felt very uncomfortable that he had to actually be so <laughs> I to be nice to people and talk to them. <laughs> well, that's this one here. Just, you put him yeah. in the bar, like with food that he's running to people, and he'll talk your ear off. You put him in front of a microphone, all of a sudden he goes <laughs> radio like silent. Like this is a time and a place. Time yeah. and a place. Well, this is radio. So this, this is the time and place. Yeah. Yeah. Start talk talking, here. man. It'd be easier if I knew I wasn't being filmed. <laughs> <laughs> bar, bar rescue is enough. Oh, we're all traumatized me. after oh, Bar Rescue. Right. That's true. <laughs> right. Yeah. But so, no, we've got Taste of Ramona. We're also um, in Best of Ramona also. Mm-hmm. And so Very Up nice. the Hill Grill, Molly's, both of us, well, Waypoint Saloon, sorry. Um, we're in that for Best Burger, Best Waitress, Best Family Restaurant, Nicene, awesome. Margarita. I've, I've always said one of my favorite mm-hmm. restaurants in Ramona. Thank Definitely yes. in the top five. You guys do an outstanding okay. job. Okay, I have a problem in okay. general. Yeah. And this is all of San Diego County. This is not just a problem in Is it in too Ramona. many taco shops? No. <laughs> <laughs> my, I thought that was going to be her thing. My biggest problem is the average place has either excellent drinks and crappy food. Mm-hmm. Or excellent food and crappy drinks. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I can give you an example over and over and over again. And up the Hill Grill or Waypoint Saloon is one of the only places that I guarantee every time, even on your worst days, it's better than some other people's best days. Thank you. Every time I get an excellent, outstanding <laughs> yeah. drink and an excellent, outstanding food item. It is consistently good. It's consistent, and Thank it's you. one of the only good. places where I can get. Both. Oh, we love that. And you're an awesome waitress. Oh, thank you. Yes, you are. You're the best. <laughs> you're the best. Assistant. Oh, let me just pat you on the back a I'll little bit it. more. <laughs> and boy, you go. A yeah. little bit, yes. I work in a bar. I get yelled at a lot. So when people tell me I'm good at something, I take it. Oh. <laughs> hey, lady. Yeah. I need another one. And, and Chris is an awesome yes, chef also. Yes, yes. Those burgers were outstanding. Was, they are phenomenal. Really good. Like they I said, delicious. there was one day I showed up and my mountain man just wasn't the same as it's been, right? The cheese was overdone. overdone. It almost tasted yeah. carbonized. Yeah. But at the same time, it was still better than the average burger in Ramona. 
Totally. I, 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 that's all I can say is on your worst day, you still knock it out of the park. I don't. Thank you. That's all there is to it. Like I said, I've never been a burger person. I know it's terrible, but I don't eat hamburgers. Yeah. But I'm starting to, and this one right here was delicious. So Thanks. it's going to make me. <laughs> I might be starting to eat hamburgers. Well, they, have, they have more than just hamburgers. They I have more than they they do. I've had your other food too, but no. it's very, very good. I God. love their island fries. I know you uh, do. Geez. They were good. I helped you. Uh, she did help I me. I did help. That her. one day, I had a lot of help from everyone at the table. Thank I had God. My tacos, I still couldn't even finish it with fries. Help. Yeah, that was so real, good. Real, real quick before we wrap up, yes. I yeah. want to talk to. Chris, real quick, you mentioned you're from Texas, and you probably have those barbecue and Tex-Mex type culinary roots. Any of that you want to looking to bring to the table and updated menus in the future? Uh, if I could get a smoker, that would be oh. that would be awesome because yeah. oh, that that's what amazing. I would do. I would want to smoke okay. a brisket for like eighteen or nineteen hours. Oh, yeah, like yum. Slow and we'll low be there. You, 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 you put that right there in your smoke patio on the side, right? If we if we had a smoker right now, because be the first thing things that I done, brought yeah. up to him for Food Fight Friday was a I burger. have a Traeger. If you guys want to borrow it, <laughs> <laughs> there's a as lot long of as le- you let me try it. Right? <laughs> there's a lot of legalities that go into yeah, having I a smoker and everything, or else we would have one already. But I told him from when we first agreed to Food Fight. Friday, I was like, I want a burger and I want some smoked pulled pork on top of the oh, burger. Oh, yum. Yeah. And so <laughs> that's not so what we're doing because we don't have a smoker. But yeah. well, and we don't want to give away what you're doing because. No, no. no. So You'll, you wouldn't do. guess anyway. You could try. You, uh, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, it's different. Yeah. But you wouldn't I'm, get it right. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just very excited. Peace by Friday different. is going to be launching in two weeks. Two August weeks. 11th. Right? August 11th. August 11th. Okay. Is the tentative day. I'm going to get confirmation from everyone after this week, and I could not be more excited. We're it's going to be excited. like today, where we're going to try food, except it's going to be three restaurants. Three restaurants. So and you know what I have to say is that Chris Osterman, who is the executive chef over there and used to work with us, we know Chris on social media. He and I just actually communicated on a post. Somebody said something negative about our restaurant and. He immediately jumped on the post and yep, I remember. said something nice. very kind and was like, Tara, if you know, if Tara's running that mm-hmm. place, I guarantee it's, you know, doing I well. I saw that, yeah. And my comment back to him was just, you know, I, I love the fact that in this small town, we might have worked together before and we might work at two different opposing restaurants in this town, but we always try and support each other. And right. so yeah. with Food Absolutely. Fight Friday... It's not about, you know, your restaurant sucks and ours is better. It's just about yeah. local. Eat local. That's what right. I always say is That's eat right. local. We have a you small town. Yeah. We yeah. all support, support each, each other. other. Exactly. One they of the they things, have good food there. I'm not going to lie. They do. They One of the food. things <laughs> I at, say. At main, yes. At, at Mary oh, yeah. Well, actually, actually it was going to be between you guys and Cheers. Cheers. But I added marinade on Maine because yeah. after telling you, we I went, went there burger. that yeah. night and had their burger. And I'm like, this has to be a part of their it. Their signature burgers. Their yeah. burger yeah. is just the one with to the die onion jam. for. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. The, the, the bacon, yeah. Yeah. The bacon onion jam. Yeah, it's always what, good extra. My husband what had I one really, with an egg. I don't know. It was what, really good. What I really <laughs> like to stress to people at Food Fight Friday is there will be a winner, but yes. there will be no losers. No. 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 Because everyone is going to win on this. We're going to be able to describe to Ramona. The perfection of choices we have. Yeah. Hashtag Ramona CA. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's what it's all about. Hashtag Food Fight Friday. Yeah. 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 I want to see. You need to cue the Rocky music. I have the yes. tiger. Yes. Here we go. Right. <laughs> yes. Yes. And yes. yes da, da, da. I might know the producer. Uh, the producer can make that happen. <laughs> cue sound effects. Go. Thank you, thank guys. You guys. Yeah, thank you. So thank you much. for having us. Chris, executive chef. Tara, manager, general manager, general manager, general manager, right? general manager. of Up the Hill fun. Grill and Waypoint Saloon. <laughs> yeah, but you're yes. knocking it out of the park. <laughs> and I just want to tell you. Amazing. Thank, thank you. you. I just want to tell you, when you have opposition, when you have people who are being rude, it means they're really upset that you are successful. Thank you. So I would take it yeah. as a compliment. That's true. Yeah. And enjoy the ride. And thank you guys so much for being here today. Thank I you. always yes. enjoy it. I need a margarita. Love having you guys. Let's have, a, let's have a beer at David Allen Co. together tomorrow. Oh, we will. Or tonight. 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 I just have That's to get it. through shift. And tonight. <laughs> I'm just all excited. Six <laughs> string outlaws. Can't wait to see you guys. Oh, my Ron. gosh. I know. They were on the they other day. Here. I'm so excited. We were doing shots on air of their were they? moonshine. They yes. Moonshine. They, oh, gave gosh. Me, they gave us a bottle and they signed it for me. Yes. And I and got a picture. I was so excited. That moonshine was eating the glue I, of the cup oh, that we were using. Yes. I was bummed that I missed them. The last time they came up on your radio show, me and Ron got drunk at the turkey at like 10 in the morning. (laughs) 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 
<laughs> That's how we roll in Ramona. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We were drinking here, and yeah. I was like, "Oh yeah." She, I thought she yep. quit breathing. <laughs> she was like, "I, I oh. didn't. I, I had about a half a shot, but I did the whole thing, and it almost instantly it. came oh, yeah. back up." Oh yeah, it's moonshine, like, no joke. I'm like, oh, I'm, "I'm live." Oh, if, I had a, <laughs> if I had a lighter, it would have blew out. <laughs> flames coming out. Woo! Thank I was like, "Yes, man!" It woke me up. <laughs> Special thanks to both of you for being here. Special Thank thanks for Dan, Mr. Thank food you. Observations Mr. Food being observations. here. Will you can follow You're Food welcome. Observations on Instagram. Instagram, Facebook, <laughs> Food Observations. You're here every day. I know. <laughs> FoodObservations.com and yes. Instagram on IG. And you guys can be found also on Instagram. At Up the Hill Grill. Up the Hill at Up the Hill Grill. And, and then Waypoint Saloon on Facebook. Fantastic. Awesome. And, and get ready to look at our menu because we'll have all of your guys' links for Ramona Town Radio for at Food Observations mm. also. You guys will be on our menu Excellent. for the whole month with the fajita burger. Fajita so. burger's a winner. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. We're going to be in the visit many it times. <laughs> well, I, I tell you what. I'll be in missed- to have one. If you missed any bit of this show or you just want to hear yeah. the awesomeness all over again, then listen, uh, check us out at the replay at 5 p.m. today. And uh, just... Do it. Just be there. We'll have a video up within the next week or so, right? That's right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I won't be listening to the replay. I'll be getting drunk for David Allen Coates. Hey, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. That's it. Thank you, everyone. Right. Have the best weekend have ever. Have a good weekend. Bye. Well, we're coming to your city.